Do you know how to complete the square to solve a quadratic equation? Well, before these two friends can tackle a problem like that one, there's a few things that they're going to need to know. Let's take a look. First, you have to remember what a perfect square trinomial is. A perfect square trinomial takes the form a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And when it's factored, it factors into the form a plus b, and that whole quantity is squared. You've seen perfect square trinomials and factored them in other concepts. But now we're going to use this information so that you can complete the square. In order to complete the square, you're going to be looking for the third term in this perfect square trinomial, or in another perfect square trinomial. Let's take a look at how to do that. x squared plus 4x plus question mark. Hmm. You're going to need to complete the square to figure out the third term in this perfect square trinomial. Now in order to do that, let's use what we already know. We know that a perfect square trinomial takes the form a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And if you look at this equation and this equation, you can say that a and x are the same thing, that a is equal to x. So when we work with these two equations, we have to keep that in mind. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to solve for the middle term. And when we solve for the middle term, notice that x is equivalent to a, which means we still have to figure out what b is. The first thing we're going to do is solve for b. Here's the first thing that we can write. We can write 2ab is equal to 4x. In the form of the perfect square trinomial, this was our middle term. In the perfect square trinomial, where we're trying to solve for the third term, this was our middle term. Now we know that a is equal to x, so let's switch the a on the left side with an x. 2xb equals 4x. We're trying to solve for b, so we need to get it alone, just like when you were solving equations. Divide both sides by 2x and we have b is equal to 2. Now remember that the last square and the last term, excuse me, in a perfect square trinomial is b squared. So we have to do that here. b squared is equal to 2 squared, which is equal to 4. x squared plus 4x plus 4 is the answer to this problem. Let's take a look at another one. x squared plus 6x plus question mark. Again, we can write 2ab, the middle term of the form of a perfect square trinomial, is equal to 6x. 6x is the second term in this trinomial. a is still equal to x, so we can substitute that in. Now we want to get b alone. Let's divide both sides by 2x. These cancel. b is equal to 3. We complete the square. b squared equals 3 squared equals 9. And our final answer is x squared plus 6x plus 9. This is our final answer, and our work is complete.